Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me on the podcast here today. I'm your host, Jared Taylor. Joining me today is James Foster, the CEO at Virix Biolabs. How are you today? I'm doing great, Jared. Thank you for having me. Excited to have you here. Let's dive right into it. Tell our audience a little bit about your background and then we'll go into uh, your, your company. Sure. So I was one of the co-founders of Virax uh, way back in, in 2013, one of the few that are still standing uh, to this very day. Um, and uh, I started off in investment banking um, in the city of London. Uh, I always had an interest in entrepreneurship. I, I started some technology, uh, some technology companies uh, back in my university and school days. Um, so I was a viewer trying to get into that world. Um, as I said, I started in investment banking. Uh, that was during the financial crisis, which uh, you know I sort of probably don't need to tell you was not exactly the, the best time. Um, so I was able to kind of uh, move into entrepreneurship, which is what I ultimately w- really wanted to do in the first place. Um, I was able to start uh, what became known as Virax Biolabs in 2013 alongside a couple of co-founders. Uh, we started off um, in distributing um, fast-moving consumer goods, primarily looking at nutraceuticals. Um, we moved uh, into kind of biotech or, or more specifically di- in vitro diagnostics about three, four years ago. Um, we started in, in the distribution of them initially. Uh, then we started moving to um, designing our own proprietary devices Um COVID for us was was kind of a catalyst for our business. Um, it really put us uh, into the next level, so to speak. Um, uh, got a lot of interest from uh, investment banks, um, a lot of a lot of folks looking to possibly invest into our business, um, which was which was great for us for obvious reasons. Uh, that ultimately led us listing to the, listing on the Nasdaq. Uh, we listed uh, last summer um, under the ticker VRAX, um, and you know our business has been going from strength to strength from there. And tell us a little bit about, you know, you've created this proprietary T-cell platform, right, called Virex Immune. Um, talk about the recent developments that you've experienced with that. And then, you know, what, what are some of the applications for this technology? Yeah, so we've been in development for this, like I said, since, um, since 2020. Um, and, and the T-cell business is, the T-cell um, sector has been of, of great interest for us for a variety of reasons. Um, in terms of where we are uh, on the clinical side, uh, we we entered our analytical performance study at the back end of last year, which was quite a large milestone for us. Uh, it was November of last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we're in the middle of that as we speak. Um, we're looking to enter our full clinical trial program um, sometime in the summer. Uh, from then, you know, assuming that all goes well with that, um, we will be hopefully launching the product in in the third quarter of this year, um, initially in the in, in Europe, in the Eurozone, um, and we're potentially looking at launching in the US with the FDA uh, soon after that. Um, and so we're looking at for clinical pathways of how we might go about doing that. Um, part of our diagnostic assay is a, uh, is a tool, a mobile application tool, which is used for um, uh, analyzing uh, a patient or a customer's um, immunological profile and that's part of what our technology looks at um our app we hope to roll out um in the middle of the summer to q2 of this year um which should precede the assay itself um so i guess as relates to um the technology and what we're kind of trying to do as virax uh, biolabs as, as a generality and so you know what we're really interested in uh, as a company and our mission, if you want to say it, is that we're, we're an innovative diagnostics company. We're really focused on the detection of immune responses um, to and the diagnosis of viral diseases. And so we look at something specifically, uh, which is called your adaptive immunity. Um, and so on the market now, uh, I think, you know, you'll find that there's only really a few products um, in the in vitro diagnostics area that that market um looking at immune resistance um, and most of those are for research use only um, so virus immunes t-cell testing tools we see is having um, three pretty significant advantages as compared to other folks and out of there in the market um, firstly um, our competitors are really solely providing a result um, 
to, to patients. So if you want to talk about um, Oxford Immune Tech, for example, or um, company like Adaptive Biotech that also looks at T cell testing, um, these competitors really look at only providing a result um, to to a to a patient or a lay person uh, without a clinician, um, which doesn't really add huge value to um, to that particular individual patient's. Um, uh, what they're trying to find out or why, why they're there or why they're, why they're looking at their adaptive immunity in the first place. Um, you know, as I kind of alluded to in the first part of my answer, um, Firex Immune is not just a diagnostic assay. It's an integrated solution where we look at blood t- testing results. Um, and these are explained, you know, simply to the individual uh, alongside a, a health recommendation, um, which is, which is offered through our Firex Immune proprietary mobile application. So, we're not aware of any other company that's sort of looking at that, um, namely um, adaptive immunity in the way that we are um, and our ability to analyze the results through our proprietary mobile app technology. So, um, you know, we, we think that's quite unique as a kind of a first point. Um, and, and secondly, we kind of look at it, uh, look at this as kind of um, uh, a broader shift um, in, in how we look at um, diagnosis in general. We kind of think that virus immune, it might be a, uh, uh, spearheading what could be a you know a, a shift in paradigm and how we look at these things um you know since the pandemic in particular it's, it's been pretty widely accepted that prevention um uh, preventative measures medicine um it, as a generality is far better than treatment um we kind of feel that virex immune um aims to guide individuals by providing them an immune passport uh, from a, from a blood sample, and this will be able to determine immune resistance to a set of viruses, which is also unique. Um, so we kind of look at this as a next generation device in terms of the broader shift into pre- preventative medicine, and we're, we we hope to be a really big part of that. Um, thirdly, and lastly, um, for, to for the, the, the aforementioned points, um, what we're designing with the diagnostic is the idea that this would be um, lab agnostic. Um, and the idea also that, that, you know, what we hope to through, through our clinical trial and improving is that this will come through at a low, relatively low price point. Um, and so this will allow us to market, what we believe, um, to both developed and the developing markets um, around the world, which, again, is quite unusual for a company that um, is looking at the technology in the way that we are, which is typically, you know, other companies typically look at more developed markets, the U.S. and Europe, and and don't really look to play elsewhere, given, you know, the pricing and the, the complication involved. Um, and so we think we're, we're, we're potentially tapping in an unmet, unmet demand there. Um, we'll be able to potentially look at endemic viruses across the world, such as Zika and Ebola and uh, in areas um, and regions that have troubled the science community for, for many years. And so we f- we feel that what we're doing here is um, unique and interesting in a variety of different ways. And apologies if that answer went on a little bit longer, but, you know, we're excited about what we're doing here. No, you're, you're totally fine. I, I want to dive in. You mentioned it a little bit within that um, within that piece, right? You were talking uh, kind of about where you where you see this heading. Let's talk about the, the vision for the for the company going forward where where do you you know I know there's only so much you can say right you're uh, you're publicly traded but in terms of you know what you can share what's exciting you about the future I think in terms of the virus immune uh, diagnostic assay um, in particular uh, it's the simplicity of our proprietary tech that makes it so so interesting in my view um, our technology is relatively easily adaptable. So the next pandemic or any new viral threat that sort of comes into uh, comes into being for whatever reason that might be, you know, we'll, we'll be able to be at the forefront of that very quickly. Um, as a result of the company and the way that it's structured, you know, we're we're not a startup, so to speak. We've been around for a few years, but we're relatively nimble. Um, and so we feel that you know the way that we developed our platform is such that we'll be able to move and adapt extremely quickly. Um, as and when it's required, um, which will put us at the forefront, you know, potentially for a significant period of time um, in this area of technology. And so the, the ultimate aim of that is to to quickly expand our, our reach into other viruses. Um, and that, you know, that potentially makes our tool, um, you know, something that's indispensable to, you know, a large variety of the scientific and, and uh, clinical community. Um, I think with a lot of the data generated, um, by a lot of studies based around SARS, COVID, um, 
it's, it's become increasingly evident in our opinion that T cell mediated immunity plays a central role in controlling viral infections. So um, as a result of this development, um, T cell vaccines and T cell therapies have recently gained a lot of attention. I, I, I probably don't need to explain that to you. Um, so there's clearly a need to provide uh, support to these types of clinical studies. Uh, and you know, Virex really intends to be at the forefront and major partner of adapting by adapting this immune technology um, and using it as a tool to overcome um, you know, whatever future challenges might, might come our way. Super interesting. I look forward to continuing to follow the uh, you know, Virex Biolabs journey. Um, really appreciate you coming on to talk about uh, your your platform competition, how you're differentiating yourself and what the vision of the company is. Um, look forward to hopefully having you come back on in the near future. Give us an update. Tell us where things are at and uh, wish you the best of luck. Wonderful. Thanks, Jared. Thanks for your time.